is up guys, Matt the Riffmaster. Today, we're going to be discussing my top five underrated guitar players. So yes, I thought about this and I thought there's a few guitar players out there in some of my favourite bands that I feel don't get enough credit for their guitar wizardry. So that's what we're going to be doing. Top five underrated guitar players starting at number five with the amazing, the insanely good Chris Robertson from Blackstone Cherry. Now Chris Robertson is probably... He's he's just amazing. His his guitar his lead his his lead skills. Uh, he's a, an insanely good uh, lead player, rhythm player. But he's so soulful and bluesy. And when you hear him just like ripping a solo, or when he's noodling, there's just so much feel and so much just so much going into it. It's got soul, man. And uh, I just love listening to him play. Uh, either on the records for Blackstone Cherry or when he's live, just giving us a solo. There's just so much feel going into it. Uh, I'll try and put a little clip here of a little bit of a noodle from him, if I can find one. But if not, all you have to do is search Chris Robertson, Blackstone Cherry. Go check him out. Chris Robertson is the front man for Blackstone Cherry. Um, great, great, great guitar player, great songwriter. But his guitar skills are just so good. And I feel he doesn't get enough credit for for his for his music and for his his guitar playing skills because he is absolutely amazing so chris robertson is right there number five so number four is uh michael padgett or known as padge from bullet for my valentine now a lot of you guys know who bullet are you guys know i love bullet and uh padge is i've always always thought is an amazing amazing guitar player not only his rhythm stuff but his solos that he writes is are just insane and his playing when you when you listen to the solos on the album or you hear him play live everything is just accurate every single note is accurate every single note you can hear and he just absolutely rips it and wails on the guitar i mean some of his mid show solos that he does are just just phenomenal a couple of solos that i do love from Michael Padgett uh, from Bullet. Uh, Scream and Fire solo is amazing. Uh, solo from Raising Hell is just insane. Oh, there's so many of them. So next time you're listening to Bullet, just listen to the solo. Watch the live stuff because that's where it really shines. That's where you really see how good he actually is. Um, and again, I feel he's another one who doesn't get enough credit for his 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 lead playing because, like I said, it's just on point. Every note you hear, and he just like makes it look effortless, but it's just fierce and it kicks you in the balls. Uh, so yeah, Michael Padgett from Bullet Padge is at number four. So coming in at number three is a close one to Padge, and that is Matt Tuck. So Matt Tuck, also from Bullet for My Valentine, is the front man from Bullet for My Valentine. And uh, his his guitar playing is amazing. I feel he doesn't get that much credit for. Um, he's good at some lead stuff. Well, really good. But his rhythm stuff as well. He has got a strong right hand. Uh, I'll try and find a clip now that I saw recently. It was just like insanely just machine gunny, badass and awesome. <laughs> And he he's a great he's a great songwriter he's a great riff writer as the riffs that he writes are just phenomenal I love Bullet I love all the riffs that Bullet write um, but he's a great guitarist he does a lot of lead stuff as well on the album credit for that as well he doesn't get much credit for his lead stuff because they all think you know Padge who's also a bit underrated uh, but Matt Tuck yeah his his rhythm skills and he's got a very unique picking technique. And it's really, I've tried it once and it's just impossible. It's just uncomfortable, but he can do it. And he absolutely kicks it in the dick. So Matt Tuck, very underrated. I love that guy. He's one of my favorite front men, one of my favorite guitarists. And uh, yeah, so the Bullet Boys back to back right there. So now coming in at number two is Jason Hook. Uh, if you don't know who Jason Hook is, Jason Hook is the uh, one of the guitar players from Five Finger Death Punch. 
Um, I've always just absolutely loved his guitar playing and his lead stuff, again, like Padge, just every note, every note. And one thing that he does that I absolutely love uh, is a lot of his fast solo stuff is all like palm muted and it just sounds so cool and accurate. Uh, one of the latest solos he'd done from Inside Out, which is off their new album that's coming out, is absolutely insane. The way it comes in, it's just fast and it's picky and it's accurate. And it's just mind blowing. Every solo he does, you just watch and you think, oh, God damn, this guy's good. Um, but again, very underrated, you know, doesn't get much credit, I feel. Um, but I'm giving it to him now. Jason Hook, you rock, man. Here's, here's your thing. Yeah, keep doing what you do. But seriously, great lead player, great riff writer. Just, again, makes everything look effortless when you think of it and you think, oh my God, it looks impossible. But he just sails through it like it's nothing. So yeah, very good guitar player, but very underrated as well. So the last guitarist that I feel is underrated, these aren't in any order, uh, but the last one is Zach Myers. Now, if you don't know who Zach Myers is, Zach Myers is the guitarist for Shinedown. Yeah, any Shinedown fans out there? Um, I've always been a fan of Zach Myers, you know, since he started in Shinedown. His, his riffs are awesome, his lead stuff is nice, and it's not always so technical, but it's got the feel there. Every, everything that he writes and he plays, you know, it's got, the, it's got a feel to it. I know every guitar player puts feel into their guitar playing, but with him, the riffs he writes, the music that he writes, it's just got that... It's very good. It's, it is sometimes technical, sometimes not so technical. Sometimes it's just simple, but it's so good. And I again, I believe that he doesn't get very much credit um, for being an amazing guitar player because he is. Like He's very, very clued up with what he's doing. He's a great guitar player. He's great. He performs great live. And he's just got an all-round great sound, great vibe, great feel to him. So yeah, Zach Myers from Shinedown. If you've not listened to Shinedown... Go check him out live um, on PooTube and uh, check out Zach Myers wailing it up and shredding it. And you'll see what I mean. So guys, there you go. That's my top five underrated guitar players that I feel are very underrated in the world of metal and guitar players and all that cool stuff. If you've got any more that you feel are underrated, stick it in the comments below and we'll have a chat about it. But go check all these guitarists out, watch their performances live and you'll see what I mean about how awesome they are. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, go follow me on Instagram and as always, rock out, be awesome and I will see you in the next video. See ya!